Okay, this video is a short video to explain the use of tuning forks on a police radar. The tuning forks are uh, mechanically constructed at a certain length to always sound off a certain frequency every time they're struck. They never get out of calibration unless you actually sawed off the fork or did something like that to it. It's always going to ring the same and that's why they're documented as a way of verifying the accuracy of a police radar. So uh, you usually get one tuning fork for a stationary radar and you get another additional fork for a moving radar. The reason for that is one fork is going to show the patrol speed and the other fork will show the target speed. So to prepare a radar for measuring tuning forks, the first thing we do is make sure the fork mode is on on the radar, which you can see there it is. I'm going to go ahead and reinitiate it and uh, you can see the radar says fork. Some radars don't have that. They'll read forks no matter what. But the directional radars that have directional antennas have to be put in the fork mode in order to read a tuning fork. If you try it without the, being in the fork mode, you may or may not get a reading without moving the fork around or something like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the lower fork and tap it, put it in front of the antenna, and you notice we got a 25 mile an hour speed on the radar. Okay, that's what's, that's what's reading on the radar, 25.25 is what's on that tuning fork. Notice it says 34.7 gigahertz, which is stalker's frequency. If you try using a radar, a tuning fork with a different reading on the gigahertz, then you will not get an accurate reading on the radar. This, this tuning fork is specially designed for this radar. All K-band tuning forks work on all K-band radars at 24.15. The KA Stalker is 34.7, Custom is 35.5, and MPH is 33.8. Decatur is the same as Custom. So we're looking at a Stalker radar today. We make sure our tuning forks say 34.7 so they're eligible to be used on this fork with a uh, radar with an accurate reading. Now we're going to use a 40 mile an hour fork. Tap it, hold it in front of the antenna, and we'll get a reading of 40 mile an hour on the radar. Now, here's something you don't learn, but very rarely, and that's testing a radar in the moving mode. I'm going to put the radar in moving. Notice the brackets on there show it's moving. I'm going to put my patrol speed up here and I've got a 25 and you will get something in the target window sometimes if the tuning fork is too close to the antenna you may get a little something there so I'm gonna let's do this over again 25 mile an hour into patrol speed and I get a 25 and a 15 if I hit both forks. That's what it should show. Now the 25 is the patrol fork at 25. The 40 is the closing traffic. So if you're driving 25 and the traffic's closing in on you at 40, then the target is 15. So with a 25 and a 40, you should read 25 and 15 on the display. Let's try it again and I'll show 15 mile an hour for target. The reason for that is with the tuning forks, one's a 25 and one's a 40. Well, think about it. The 25 mile an hour fork is your patrol speed and if a car was closing in on you at 40, which is your high fork, then the radar takes the closing speed and subtracts the patrol speed and gives you a target speed of 15. So that's why in moving mode, when you use a 25 and a 40, your, your radar will read 25 in patrol and 15 in target. The 15 in target being the 40 mile an hour closing speed minus the 25 mile an hour patrol speed.